And so the river is along the edge here. And we may see as we're walking along the path in areas where um, soil is exposed, we might actually see some artifacts. When this landform was first exposed by glaciers, uh, it was not, in fact, you know, this whole area didn't have much vegetation. And initially you had some sort of grasses coming in and eventually some, some trees coming in, but for quite a period of time, and this was especially the case to the west of here, you just had bare soil exposed. This may have been a really logical passage for animals on foot to get from one landform to the other where they would have had the narrowest amount of water to have to cross. Uh, the aquatic resources are so rich and abundant that that would have also you know, meant that you had plants and a great plant and animal diversity right in this location that would have been very attractive to the first people to come in. Mm -hmm. Just judging from the kinds of things that were deposited here archaeologically, those people came back time and again, maybe not every year, but every few years. This became a really special place that people, uh, once they found it, they continued to return again and again. And that went on un, you know, into the historic era. Um, the, far and away, the vast majority of what we have found is distinctive to a um, archaeological cultural tradition called Folsom, which spans a little less than a thousand years. And it's not until about 12,000 years ago that we start to see these very distinctive fluted points showing up. And those are um, the, the earliest fluted points have um, are, are pretty large and have um, flutes or these um, scars, channels, flakes that are taken off the base that extend no more than two-thirds the length of the overall point. And that technology lasts for a period of time and then is, um, you know, maybe it's contemporaneous towards the end or maybe they are sequential, the uh, Folsom technology comes in a little bit later. And on the Folsom technology, the points are typically smaller, mm -hmm. and this flute or flake runs almost the entire length of the point. Mm -hmm. So this is a flake. It's left over from making a chipped stone tool. Mm -hmm. So this would have been removed from a larger piece of stone. And we can tell that this is not just a natural thing that's out here because there's a um, very tiny striking platform and then there's a little bit of a scar um, where the force was moving through and it kind of created a little bit of a bulb and then the force pulled back out towards the exterior of the stone. And it's some harder kind of stone that's used to, to chip off. It's usually off an igneous stone that's used to do some of the coarse rough chipping. And then after that, uh, typically pressure flaking using antler tips, deer antler tips, the tines of a deer mm -hmm. antler, um, or other sort of hard yet soft and resilient materials. This is a glacial landform and the glaciers deposited all different kinds of stone mm -hmm. <laughs> all over the place right. uh, in the eastern half of the state. But then there are also geological deposits um, in various parts of the state that are distinctive and that were desirable to people. So the, the Folsom spear points in particular, just about all of them are fully used. There's no more resharpening that you can do. So they're taking them out of the shafts, throwing them away, putting new ones in. They're doing things, you know, they're kind of like retooling for a new season of traversing the landscape. Um, and they've got some of the time and leisure to do that. And the quantity that we find is pretty substantial. That is either the accumulation of a small group of people over many, many years, 
or it's the accumulation of more people over many years just throwing these stone tools away when they've finished using them they can't they're not usable anymore woody wallace and some of his colleagues did a full-scale uh, geophysical survey of this site that uh, yielded evidence of you know at i would say at least a dozen structures similar to the one that we had excavated oh. um, so basin filled maybe even a couple of dozen scattered across uh, mostly the western half of this field.